Hello and welcome back to more Stephen Amell play Dragon Ball Advanced Adventure. On the last episode, I was in charge and I took us through most of Pilaf's castle. But now, we're at the very top. And because it's an odd-numbered episode, Mao is in charge and she's got to deal with this problem. Pilaf has just said, let me show you my power. And apparently the power is getting, in, getting in that robot suit. Now, ha 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 ha, here goes! So, it's up to Mal. Um, ah. Now, one of the things Mal probably wants to do ah. is use her special ah. if she doesn't get hit. Now, the problem is with, with this particular boss is that you're actually you're dealing with two bosses at once. You're dealing with Pilaf and the small ball, and then the little scorpion flame tail guy is uh, Shu. And they each have their own separate uh, health bars. So Mal's going to try and use... Um, I was going to try and use her special on Pilaf and finish him up. And that, that was her special. And uh, that's just because she was holding down her her key button, R, and then used her special, which is L. The problem is that does drain one of your bars, and now she has to get that back up, either by taking or dealing damage. She can still do it again. But if she does it anymore, she's not going to be able to fire her, her key blasts. And firing the key blasts don't remove any key from your meter in the first place, so... Also, Mal, you're not doing so hot! Not doing so hot! I know, I um, know. Not, not so good right now. Uh, you need to finish Pilaf, because he's nearly dead. Maybe not storm into him when he's, like, stomping up and down, though. Yeah, you have a, you have, you have a, a sliver. So she's opted to use her special to kill I, Pilaf, I'm but now she sure has. I'm pretty sure gonna kill me. Now you have to stay alive from Shu, who still has an entire health bar. What are you doing? Uh, Shu likes to float around and stomp, and then Shu also will shoot flames. You have to avoid both of these things. Jumping, coming down, trying to get some damage in. Still has an entire health bar. This though. reminds me of the boss fight on um, Sonic Two. Oh, yeah, with the big, huge mech thing. Ah! Oh, yeah, did I mention that Shu can also shoot missiles? You didn't, but I see that now. That's right, we have some lives. Mao is going to try once again. <laughs> Straighten the damage. Fire. Try to get some serious damage on... on Shu or Pilaf, whatever. Um, I don't know if there's one that's easier than the other, but I think Pilaf should be a little easier. Also, don't get burned is a good piece of advice. Or we're grabbed. You know, you were giving me a lot of crap earlier about... Yeah, but you had one and it was Yamcha. <laughs> it was Yamcha. Alright, you got him. You're doing good. You're hitting both of them. Uh, you got Pilaf down to half a health bar, so that's pretty good. I would maybe see if we could finish him up with a special. You're wailing on him, but he's still, he's still hitting you. He's doing good damage. He's almost dead. Are you trying to save both of your specials for Shu? Maybe. Ah, uh, no, 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 no! You might have to come up with a solution sooner than that. You're down to three quarters health. Pilaf is! Pilaf is! Pilaf is dead, but Shu is jumping! Alright, so Mao has got full, uh, full key. She's using, she decided, she opts to use her special twice. But she doesn't have any key left, and it's going to be... There's not enough fight... There's not enough of this battle left to gain enough back to be able to use it again. So at this point, she's just gonna have to beat, her, beat, uh, beat you to death with her power ah, pole. That was bad. He's, not gonna, he's gonna flame you. Careful. While he's flaming, you can attack from behind, I'm sure. Mao, you walked right into it. I see that. Don't get stomped on. And don't get flamed. Nice. Thanks. That was close. Area clear. Good stuff. Good stuff indeed. Hey, no problem. Now give me back those Dragon Balls. Huh? Thud. What's that gas? Thud. Heh heh heh. They fell for it. They're fast asleep. Dun dun dun. Hmm? Ah! Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Now come forth, Shenron, and grant me my wish. Oh snap. I will grant you any one wish. 
Make me the world's... Give me the world's most comfortable pair of underwear! I love that moment in the anime. It's great. <laughs> I have granted your wish. And now, farewell. I like his jazz hands. <laughs> Shinron! <laughs> ah! Ah! Darn it! I won't forget this, but for now, I, I will withdraw. You did it, Oolong! But the Dragon Balls have all gone off somewhere again. Too bad. For the next year, they'll be ordinary stones. Well, until then, I'm going to go train with Master Roshi. See you all later! Hey, Flying Nimbus! Save in the game. You did the thing! Did the thing! You did the thing! Now you go to Kama House. In order to train himself even further, Goku went to see Master Roshi. Krillin came afterward, and together, they were accepted as his pupils. And happily began undergoing training from the world-famous Master Roshi. Alright, I will accept both of you as my pupils. Goku and Krillin both said hooray. <laughs> Now then, let's get to the place where you will train first. They don't actually train on the island where the Kame House is. Okay, you are about to start your training. Old timer, hurry up and start teaching us. First, we'll have a rock hunting test. Whoever finds me the prettiest rock. <laughs> Go find the rock that I threw into the woods and bring it back to me in the allotted time. I wonder which one of them will find the rock first. So Mao is up, and she is taking us through th this area where she's got to find the rock. I always thought that the training stuff um, in Dragon Ball was some of my favorite. Like, seeing, seeing Goku's power be harnessed for the first time by Master Roshi, it's probably some of my favorite stuff in Dragon Ball. I don't actually need this cheeseburger. Kind of high in calories. <laughs> I'm gonna. Oh I'm, gosh, that's I'm, that's not ah. That's not ah. Well, oh, I, I got up, you here. up there. And then that thing's probably gonna knock you off. Woo! No! Oh, I got it. You got another invincibility. I mean, I would say that for someone as active as Goku, that the calories probably don't matter. Also, we don't get to see it in this game, but like you, um, oh, you got you got an extra health or half half bar Green. health. So now you have two and a half bars of health. Uh, in the in the anime in the in the manga, Goku eats like no tomorrow, like ridiculous amounts of of stuff. But it also has to be because he's burning off so much energy, because he's burning off a ridiculous amount of energy. You about push me off? Get over here. You are fighting that pterodactyl. Showing that pterodactyl who's boss. You're also, like, whipping these dogs to death. How do you feel about that? Kind of sad. You should, you should feel kind of sad. Seems like the wrong thing to do. Bad Goku. You're really worried about jumping when those things are nearby. Oh, you got it. Oh, he, oh, he fell down the tube. He's screwed. As a reminder, it's not... It is not necessary to kill every single thing that comes your way. I want to. Okay. That's fine. You do your thing. It'll give me health. Well, you you do... You are timed. That's why I mention it. Oh, I am? Yeah. There's a <laughs> I timer, didn't even notice. There's a timer in the top middle. Like, Roshi was, like, in the allotted time. So you have 169, 168, 167. It's even a little less than three minutes to get that rock. So you should probably, like... Look, here's a rock. It's not the right rock. But good try. As we go through, you guys can see more and more of these red doors and understand, you know, how important it is to come back through in extra mode. Once again, if you're a completionist, you'd probably really like this game. Someone's going to want to know if we're going to be covering everything, and the answer is no. We are not covering everything. This is not a 100% run. We are going to be showing you the main story mode. And then, uh, if we can, I would love to 
um, do a multiplayer match between uh, Mao and myself, but we we're gonna have to get a hold of another um, another copy of the game. So once we do that, then we'll be we'll be set. I don't know if that'll come right after the series ends or if it'll come later on, but uh, we'll try to get a hold of another copy so we can can do a versus match of some sort. There, there is a lot of extra stuff in the game, though, and in order to unlock it, it takes a ridiculous amount of time. It's not really the purpose of our Let's Play. It's not to say, hey, here's a 100% run of this game. Um, the purpose... Ooh, that dunk. was close. The purpose is really just to say, hey, Dragon Ball fans, we're also Dragon Ball fans, and we thought it'd be nice if we did a Dragon Ball game. The Rock! Mallory has obtained The Rock. Hey, Goku, did you find The Rock yet? <laughs> I win this contest. But, but the, that one might be a fake. But it has the old timer's mark on it right here. Uh, l l let me see it a second. Hmm. 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 Ha ha ha. I got the rock. You jerk. That's cheating. Ha <laughs> ha. The competitive world is a harsh one. Go! Kill Krillin! Take his life! Like he took your rock! You almost went down that tube! That was a close one, Mal. You're doing good, though. Just keep running. And just, yeah, just honestly, you're doing great. Just leap wildly into the air, like no tomorrow. That's what I would advise you do. You know, you know that Mal is serious? When like, I don't talk much? When, when she doesn't say a word. Like, I'm over there watching her, and she's like, Oh, not. there was a thing up there! And, oh. and now you'll never get it. Could have been something great. Could have been, you know, a gun. A gun. <laughs> For the record, it could not have been a gun. It's a bunch of collectibles. I think I said it in a, in a previous episode. But it's 50... I think there's 54 to get. Some of them are good. Some of them are, are just to unlock other stuff, but still neat. Another invincibility. They really want you to ignore the enemies. They want it to feel more like, hey. No! Now, why did that happen? Because I was running. <laughs> you probably need to slow down just a little bit um, so that doesn't happen again. Just, this is an FYI. Um, if, you, if you just book it, there's a chance that you'll just fall down the cliff. Although, I'm going to be honest, you could have saved yourself. If I had wall jumps, yeah, you could have you could have wall jumped out of that. It's not the easiest thing to do, but you definitely could have wall jumped out of that. Oh, here's your chance to get the um that capsule if you want it. You figure out if you can figure out what it is. Can you get up there? It's Roshi's glasses, which um you know once again don't actually do anything in the game. But, they... It's a collectible that, you know, if you're trying to 100% the game that you want to get. Alright, I believe in you, Mao. I believe that you will Won't finish fall this. fall again? I mean, I hope not. Just take your time. Don't, don't rush it. There's platforming to do. Because if you run, you're likely to just... That was close, too. There you go. Now, shortly after this is where you bit the bullet, so... Just take your time. Don't fly into a precipice. So focused. Must. Must. Get rock. Run past dog. Must not fight dog at all, but instead just run past dog as dog chews on thigh. Best course of action has happened literally four times. Might I suggest when you're jumping, you do a dive kick? No. Because I, I think if, if you did a dive kick when you're coming down... <gasps> Dog! You almost died. <sighs> if you would have just taken my my advice, when you're jumping, do the dive kick. Because then when you come down, but you're hitting... Rock. I you're mean hitting the, a guy. I mean... Are you okay? <laughs> Is I your brain this. dying? <laughs> I'm starting to become concerned. I'm getting a little concerned over here for you. I mean, I was concerned when I lost a Yamcha, but come on now. There's a uh, chicken up there. Yep. Yeah, that look chicken. at me get that chicken. Need to do a run. Or that. <laughs> or a casual walk. <laughs> a casual walk is fine. I'm to get my chicken. Ooh, a life. 
That'll make up for where I fell. Nothing will ever make up for where you fell. Uh, you it haven't will, made up for Yamcha yet, It so. will carry with you throughout your entire life. Oh! Oh, God! I cannot believe you just did that again. That pterodactyl wasn't even after you! I thought he might be! Oh, please, God, where are... You don't start at the beginning, do you? So the question on everyone's mind... Is will Mal survive? She did it. I did it. She yay. did it. And it. Was then immediately mauled by some dogs. No, it wasn't. Good job, Mal. Thank you. <laughs> what a persistent guy he is. Hey, you want to fight for it? I'm not about to lose. And now you must fight Krillin. So Mal was in a battle with Krillin. Because Krillin stole that rock, and Goku is not happy about it. Oh, snap, Krillin, like, kicking you up into the air. All sorts of whacked out stuff's going on. Mal decided to use her power pole attack. Krillin's doing all sorts of stuff. He's guarding. Goku's health is low. Mal uses her ultimate special to get him down to just a single health bar. But she only has a sliver of health left. It's not looking so good for our young warrior. Mouse punching at nothing. Shush! Krillin decks Goku in the jungle. Leaves him there to die. Once again, Mao, this time with feeling. The difference is Mao uh, now has a little more health. She now has technically more health than Krillin. But Krillin is really messing you up. Give it your all, Goku. You're doing great. Man, Krillin can jump! There we go. So he gets in the first special, goes for the immediate second special. So at this point, Mao has pretty much doubled the life of Krillin. Certainly, certainly, good things will, will come. Certainly and probably. And hopefully... Shh. Sorry. Well, Mao, if I, if I stayed as quiet as you're staying, then this wouldn't be a commentary. You haven't said a word. You're just I'm focused. I'm focusing. Yes, I get that. But don't shush me. You're down to... Krillin's down to a quarter health. You're wailing on him. Just another hit or two. Got him. And Krillin is down. And your tail wags because you're so happy. <laughs> I don't look all that happy. Beat up your friend. Whoa! You both have done very well. Old timer, never mind this stuff. Teach us some martial arts! What nerve you have to say that! I will train you in the martial arts... ...when you have gained the power to break ten of the large rocks here. <laughs> Alright, I'll give it a try. So now, Mal must break it's some rocks. rocks. So, uh, this will be where the episode ends. Mal's going to uh, beat these rocks. I think in the anime, it was... Like, Roshi had them doing chores. He had them, like, like delivering milk, I think? Do you remember, Mal? Uh, yeah, they delivered milk, they did some other stuff. And instead of breaking ten large rocks, it was like, if you can move this giant boulder... When, when you can move the giant boulder, I'm ready to train you, or something like that. And, um... And one day, like, they go into the house and they're like, Master, please, come out, you gotta see! And, like, both, like, Goku and Krillin move the rock. And Roshi's like, oh my god, this is, this is crazy. Like, Dragon Ball Z is a, is a fun ride, but uh, ultimately, um, you know, it's, it's one of those things like, you, you know, it, at that point, like, they can do all this crazy stuff. It's really fun to watch Dragon Ball because it's kind of where it began, where they get excited about doing something like moving a boulder, you know? So I think it's one of the reasons I really enjoy it. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, next episode is my episode, which means Mal will be able to focus less... On focusing? Yes. On what I'm doing? Yeah, you I, you really... you focus hard. Well, I died a few times, and then I had to focus. You, you, it's because you were just worried about falling in that pit? Yes. Again. So, that pit, would you say that it is your Yamcha? <laughs> that pit is my Yamcha. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't miss the next exciting episode of Stephen Amal Play, Dragon Ball Advanced Adventure.